In this DIY, I'll be using this 9 inch Hurricane Vase from Dollar Tree. I'm also using this fix all glue from Dollar Tree. I have a pair of gloves and some scissors. But most importantly, I have this bath mat that I found at Dollar Tree as well. And I also have some tape that I purchased from Dollar Tree and my respirator mask. And I'm using this mask because I'll be using plenty of the fix all glue and the fumes are really strong. To get started, I cut the mat to fit around my vase. I made sure that it was the same height and long enough to go around the vase. Here I'm just doing a double check to make sure that it fits around my vase perfectly. I purposely left it a little bit longer than I needed, but I'll cut that excess away later. So the next thing I'm going to do is apply the glue to the mat. Then I'll attach the mat to the vase and then secure it with the tape until the glue dries. But before I do any of that, I'm going to put on my mask. Now simply apply the glue straight from the tube and I also have a popsicle stick handy just in case I need it. My intentions are to saturate the mat with the glue but not being overly generous because we will have to clean up excess glue off the glass once it sets. Now this part does require a little bit of patience. I put on some music and I was good to go. After applying the glue to the mat, I place my glass on top and then wrap the mat evenly around the glass. It's just that simple. Look at that. You're already done. Now I'll reinforce it with some tape to hold everything in place until the glue dries. I checked everything one more time to make sure that it was securely pressed against the glass. I'll set this aside for about three hours until the glue sets up. Okay, here's the second vase that I did off camera. And I went ahead and cut the excess off ahead of time. Not like I did this one, I left it on that, but I cut that off later. So yeah, you can go ahead and cut it the same exact size as needed and it'll stick fine. Okay, so I let both my vases sit for about three hours. Now I'll go ahead and remove the tape. Okay, so the glue is holding the mat onto the glass perfectly. So now I'll go ahead and cut this excess off. And remember, like I said before, I went ahead and cut the second one to the perfect size and I didn't have a problem with the mat sticking. So now I gotta go back in and add some additional glue to the very end of the mat and let that dry. So to save on time, just go ahead and cut it to the perfect size and then tape it up and let it dry. Okay, so moving right along, the other vase is ready, so all I did was take some tape and fold it back on itself with the sticky part on the outside, and I'll just use that to press onto the glass to pull any excess glue that's on the glass, and it works like a charm. I decided to go ahead and remove the excess glue from the second vase as well. Before moving on to the next step, I decided to let you all see who's trying to take over my channel. This is Misty. She's the newest member of the family and she's absolutely obsessed with being on my desk and in my chair. So I really have to watch my back with her. So stay tuned guys. <laughs> okay, moving right along. Although the vases look really nice the way they are, I want to spray paint mine just to see what they look like. I'm going to do one in blue 
and I'm going to do one in silver. So I'm going to take these out, spray paint them, and then come back. Okay, I'm back and both faces have been painted. As you can see, this is the silver one. It has a metallic look. And here's the blue one. And um, it's really shiny and I like that, but I want it to have a metallic look as well. So here I have two bottles of teal metallic paint. Um, one came from Michaels and I think the other one came from Walmart. So I'm going to decide on which one to use and paint over the blue with the acrylic paint. And I'll be using this foam brush to apply the paint to the vase. After that paint has dried, I'll mix some Mod Podge with this glitter and then brush that on on top of the paint. And I'll do the same thing with this vase, but I'll use silver glitter instead of the blue. Okay, so I'm done applying the paint to my vase. I'll let this dry and then come back with a second coat. I put the blue vase aside to dry. Now I mix the Mod Podge with the silver glitter and apply it to this vase. I'm done adding the mixture to this vase. Now I'll mix this blue glitter with some Mod Podge and apply it to the blue vase and then come back. The Mod Podge and Glitter Mixture has completely dried on both faces. Now I'll go ahead and decorate these with some rhinestones. I have some rhinestones from Michaels and I also have these. I think I picked these up at Dollar Tree. So I'm going to use some of the silver ones from this pack along with the rhinestones. And I'll be gluing them on with hot glue. I used the larger rhinestones from Michaels on the bubbles. And I used the smaller stones in the center of those bubbles. Um, you'll see as I go on. Now that I think of it, I might have picked those up at Dollar General, so it was either Dollar Tree or Dollar General. Now here's the look that I'll be creating on this face. I'll continue to add the rest off camera and then come back when I'm done. Now on this one I used some of the same silver studs. I also picked up some blue rhinestones from Michaels that I'll be adding to the bubbles. So in all I have three faces and I want them all to be different heights. So I'm going to add two candle holders to the silver one. I also have a gold one that I'll add one candlestick holder to and I'll leave the blue one as it is. And as you can see it's really simple. Just glue the two candlesticks together. Now the trick to getting them even is to turn one of the candlesticks until it evens out. Um, glue those together and then I glue them to the bottom of my vase. I also make sure that the vase was centered on top of the candle holders and then put it aside to dry. No need to talk through this. I'll just simply glue the blue rhinestones on top of the bubbles. Again, I purchased these rhinestones from Michaels. Okay, so I'm done decorating the blue one and I absolutely love it. Again, I won't be adding a candlestick holder to this one. I'll leave it the way it is. And here's the gold one that I did off camera. And as you can see, I added one candlestick holder to that one. Now I'll add some bling wrap around the neck and I'll do the same thing with the silver one. As you can see, I measured the bling wrap around the neck of the candle holder. I cut it to size and then glued it on with hot glue. And here's my completed gold vase and I absolutely love it. I think all three vases displayed together will look amazing. And I also think we can use these as candle holders. So I'll be adding some battery operated candles on the inside of them to see what they look like. And here are my three gorgeous 
vases, which I also think we can use as candle holders on display. I painted them to match my color scheme, but feel free to do yours whichever color you like. Let me take this time to apologize for being absent. I had to take some time off to take care of my family and myself as well. But I'm back now and I'm super excited and I hope that you are too. And I also would like to tell you guys about my broadcast. I broadcast on YouTube Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. And Fridays are subscriber appreciation night where I do giveaways. So if you guys don't know about it, I would love for you to check it out. Again, it's Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays at 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, just look out for my broadcast alert. You'll see those come up from time to time. So, yeah, we have a lot of fun, and I would love to see you all there. All right, so this completes my DIY. I hope that you all enjoyed it, and if you did, please leave me a thumbs up. It really helps my channel. And please comment below how you feel about this DIY. Is this something you would recreate? What would your color choices be? Just anything you'd like to share. So if this is your first time here, please subscribe. I would love to have you join my YouTube family. Okay, everyone, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching.